Hi everyone, my name is Gloria Helmbrecht. I've been a Stamping Up demonstrator for 22 years. Today we're going to use two stamp sets and I'm going to show you how to do a kind of funky looking background. We're using Gorgeous Grunge and Bright Blossoms and I'm also going to show you how to make a little girl with the punches. So this is what the card will look like at the end. So let's get started. We're going to start on the background first. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking my piece of Whisper White and I'm going to emboss the little flower from the Bright Blossoms. I'm going to emboss that with clear embossing powder. Okay, so I'll just pour that on there and we'll just pour it right back into the jar. And then we'll use our heat source and emboss that up. Now you're going to notice that I embossed the flower in clear because the technique we're doing today for this background is a resist technique. So we're going to emboss these flowers all over the background and I'm going to add a little color with, with leaves and I'm going to tuck a leaf right next to the flower. I'm using Versamark um, to emboss with and then we'll use a little bit of wild wasabi, put that on there, and tap that off. Oops, got a little bit of an edge there, that's okay. And then we're going to use our heat source again. And emboss those leaves. So now we've got wild wasabi, and we've got a clear, um, a clear flower that you can't quite see. So to save time, I've already done the background up with flowers and leaves. Okay, so you get the basic um, idea and the basic technique. So that's what we're going to go with. Now we're going to use Blushing Bride and one of the grunge background stamps that looks like this, kind of the paint splat sponge. And Blushing Bride, you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like that. Just give me a chance. <laughs> I'll show you that it's going to be really cool looking. So we're just going to plop it all over here. We love that little, that kind of blended background look that we're going to get. So I started with a light color, so I'm going to go to a darker color now. So we had Blushing Bride, and now we're going to go to Calypso Coral. Okay, same stamp. Calypso Coral plop it all over the place. I know you're saying to yourself, oh no, she's stamping over the flowers. What's going to happen? Don't worry, I'll make it all right in just a couple of minutes. So we've got the Calypso Coral. And then the last color that we're going to use is Melon Mambo. And Melon Mambo is darker than Calypso Coral, so I again do not have to clean my stamp in between stamping, so we're going to stamp right all over that, tuck in the coral wherever, or the, the Melon Mambo wherever you want some really intense color, and voila. Okay, so you're thinking, well that doesn't look like what you did, and you're right, it doesn't. So let's fix that. I'm going to take a blender pen, all right? The uh, ink is still pretty wet because our pads, you know, stay wet for a little bit, takes a little bit of time for them to dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the blender pen and we're going to pull out color from all of these different colors and we're going to blend them so that the background gets more solid and you can see some good color coming in there and it won't be so stark white. All right, almost done there. Remember, making the sounds makes your card project so much better. You can leave some white for effect if you want, some like nice highlights in the background, that's okay. So now you're like, oh, now I can't see the flowers, where are they? Well remember, this is a resist technique. So take a cotton swab, um, this is a Q-tip, and you just pull the color off of the Q-tip, with the Q-tip, and your flowers are going to pop. And voila, you've got that pretty little background using the grunge um, stamp set and just stamping in three different colors. 
So I love that effect, and you can do it with any three colors you want. You can do lots of different effects. Remember, whatever you're doing on the resist, you're going to emboss and clear on white, and then that's going to pop out later once you get all the ink color on. Okay, so we'll set that to the side. Now, how did we make the little girl? Well, the little girl's face is actually the owl. We used the owl builder. Um, we used the one and the quarter scallop, one and a quarter circle, and this is another part of the owl builder here. And then we use the big heart um, punch that we have. I've already cut out a little triangle in the heart. This is going to tuck behind the screen, and that's going to be her arm holding the flowers. Her face, we're going to take and just nip off the owl's. We're going to nip off the owl's feet here. So that's the bottom of her face. And then we're going to take, we're going to take and we're going to cut the top of the owl's ears off, just at an angle. Okay. And we'll use our our glue glue dots and we'll tuck some bangs on her. So we've got some bangs going on. So now we're just going to turn it over and we're going to follow that line. Okay. All right. So now we've got our bangs. We're just going to cut over the top of that. Right. And then we're going to finish up her hair. So we're going to use the glue dots again. And we'll tuck her, the poof of her hair behind. Okay. And then we'll tuck the other part of the owl builder just kind of peeking out like that. And then for the top here, we're going to take the pearls and when you get your sheet of pearls, there are some pearls that are already put together. So I've just cut five of them. I shouldn't say put together, they're hooked together. Oh, well maybe not. Yep, they're hooked together in a row. All right, so we're going to have to fudge that a little bit. And that's okay, fudging's okay. When you're rubber stamping, you just got to like go with the flow. You never know what's going to happen. But we've got the three little pearls on there. And then you're thinking, oh, what are we going to do for her face? Well, I'm just going to take a, um, a marker, the black marker, and we're going to give her a little dip, boom, 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 with some eyelashes. And then we're going to do the same on the other side, boom, 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 boom. Then we're going to give her a little mouth, whoop, 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 doop. Get her smile in there. And I used to babysit a beautiful little girl just like this. Her name's Maya. She's a young lady now. She's 17. But when she would get up from her nap, she had these beautiful little rosy cheeks. I just love it. We'll just call this our Maya card. So we're going to just take the Q-tip and tuck on some cute little um, blushing cheeks there and then we'll finish with um, putting her putting her body together Oops. sorry about that so she's going to be just slightly off center there because we're going to cut up where the heart or we're going to cover up where the heart is then we're going to mount it on our paper so let's mount um, our paper so we've got the, the side that we've worked on and made that colorful background with. So we're going to tuck that on to there, just kind of center it a little bit. And then the other side had to be just a little bit smaller, so the effect, so I got the effect that I wanted. We're going to tuck that right next to it. So this is actually a four by two and this is a four by one and a half. All right, then we've got the, the piece that goes down the middle, okay, and we want to tuck her in so that her face, oops, yeah, probably should have done that first. Okay, remember, on this side, you want to tuck the little girl in just a little bit. There you go. Tuck her in. Perfect. I already had glue dots on the other side. So we're going to tuck her in. Her arm's going to be there for us to put the... Um, posies on. So we're going to plop that up on top. All right, the posies. How are, how, are, how are they made? Okay, we took the Itty Bitty Shapes Punch Pack and there's a little flower in that. And I took 
an embossing tool and just pushed it down into the foam like that so we get a little pop to it. And then I just take and pull a pearl off and tuck it in. Now I've pre-done this to save time. So I've already put these cute little flowers on my glue dots and I'm just peeling them off. Now when you're putting flowers in a bouquet, it's always best to have an uneven number like, oh yeah, I gotta put the glue on that one. Let it hang in there. So what we're gonna do is uh, put five flowers on. And the one I just made needs some glue, so we're gonna put that glue dot on. So we'll tuck it in there. And then I decided she needed some little leaves in there. So this is the heart from the Owl Builder and some scrap paper. And we're gonna tuck her leaves in there, give the bouquet some depth. There we go. Let's do another one, put one down on the end. There we go. Now we've got our little girl. She's adorable. Let's put mellow, let's mount her on Melon Mambo. I know I use a lot of mono adhesive. That's okay. It's the way I like to do it. And we're going to mount her on here. And she can be for a birthday or hello, how are you? Any kind of occasion that you want. But it's a beautiful background. It's a cute little, little um, girl with holding the bouquet of flowers. It can be for anybody. This is my Maya card and my background technique. Thank you, come back again.